on the viewer monitor of the Toshiba, not the scanner side, but the viewer. You wanna grab the volume, press auto load, and then click MPR to load your volume so you can do your reconstructions. So if you need to straighten it out, then you'll do that. And once you have straightened everything out, you want to choose your projection. There's the average, which is a normal. You can change the MIP. And um, that's pretty much it. If you want any other windows, you will have to do it on the raw data side. Here's the thickness. There's going to be two numbers, the smaller the numbers, the more detailed stuff that you would use for like bones. And then you would come down, press batch MPR because you want to make new batch of the images. Um, and again, this is when you already straighten everything. So slice thickness and lock intervals, those are the two numbers. So it could be like 10 by 5, 2 by... Normally it's the same numbers together. So let's say if you change the slice thickness to 10, you want the same number, the easiest thing to do is press that yellow button, is lock interval, and it'll just stay um, the same numbers. But other scans will probably use two different ones, um, like the lungs or something. And to actually label the um, new series that you made is under comments. This is where you would put it. So you type in um, whatever it may be, like axials, sagittals, coronals, or right side, left side, you can write whatever you want here on the comment, and it'll just label your series. And then you have to make sure you press enter. Once you press enter, then everything's good, then press save, and then do your next one, and press save, and you can again name it. And then you can just close this window, and it'll take you back out to send your images. Or I like to actually blank out my page by going to this box right here, use your mouse to right click it and hold right click and hold press close and then it'll close and blank out your image i like a blank page like this so once it's a blank page that's where it's at and just a little heads up that little corner each box there's four corners right just like that blue box is a four corner too um Oh, before we go to that, this is the oblique button. Oblique button, I normally use it for like PE studies to and shoulders because it helps like get the angle better. And then so coronals, there goes the top left corner is coronals. Sagittals is top right corner. Bottom left is axial and then the other one's oblique. So that's what those letters mean. There are other nice features on this system. If you go to the second tab, there's a feature called curved MPR. That's to help with straightening a spine that's very um, curvy. Just like if someone's kyphotic or have scoliosis, this will help um, reformat the images so the radiologist can read it in a straight line and it's very cool.